Hey everybody, Kevin Barnett here, Carbide 3D Studio. Today we're going to help you add Air Assist to your Shape Oco. A simple and easy process that, especially if you're cutting metal on a regular basis, is a nice upgrade. It's inexpensive, we'll give you all the details, a parts list, and a step-by-step -step install. Here we go. When it comes to the parts list, five things to order off of Amazon. The first thing you're going to want to get is the spray system. Orglam, $19, easy. That one's simple. That's the block you're actually going to attach to your Z-axis. You'll also need an air regulator. I like this one from Pneumatic Plus, SAW2000M, $28. We have them on both the HDM as well as our Shapeoko Pro, and I'm about to mount one on my home machine as well. We've had experience with it. It's been positive. I hope yours is the same. You'll also need airline. Utah Pneumatic Airline, in this case, 5 16 or 8 millimeter outer diameter and 5 millimeter inner diameter. We've gone through a couple of rolls of these, also has worked well. I'm assuming that you have an airline with a quick connect that's gonna get all the way to the regulator. The Tanya Hardware air hose fitting and air coupler plug will help you get into the regulator from that quick connect quarter inch style. You're also gonna need some male straight push connect fittings for that eight millimeter tube to get that out of your regulator and on into the air block on your Z-axis. 10, $9, pretty cheap. All told, this is under $80. Okay, down here on the side of our machine, let's talk about the regulator and where it's mounted, what you have to do to get it started. I'm gonna assume that you have the ability to get an air line all the way to the machine. This is the kind of air line quick release that I would use, makes it quite easy with our parts list to go ahead and connect. You can see on this side here, on the left-hand side, you have that male connector screwed into the regulator. We've installed the regulator face, and then on the, out the other side, you have the eight millimeter outer diameter hose ready to go. The mounting plate makes it very easy to mount the regulator on any flat surface. The mounting plate comes out from the regulator. You just unscrew this collar here, and it slips out the bottom, and this is screwed directly into the frame of our table. With that installed, go ahead and push your eight millimeter hose in one side and go ahead and take your quick connect and connect it there. Okay, now on the other side of our machine, we have the airline coming from the back all the way around to enter the drag chain. And you might ask, why do you have the regulator mounted on one side and the drag chain entry on the other side? For us, the answer is a configuration problem. We have our Shaboko Pro here and we have an HDM on the other side we share an air line between the two because rare is a circumstance when we would need air on both machines at the very same time. So we ran just one line and we can swap them back and forth on that side. Just makes it a little bit easier for us and so what, a little extra hose on this particular machine. If you at home are doing a single machine in your garage, I would definitely mount the regulator on the same side here. I would keep all the connections in one space. In any case, I took the air hose I mounted it to the existing architecture of the lines running into the drag chain. When entering the drag chain, I just like to take a wrench and pop the drag chain open. Pretty easy to do, and you can use a combination of both popped open sections along with pushing the air hose through, and that should get you pretty easily through the drag chain. There's plenty of space in here for the air hose. Not difficult. Then you go around the corner and you're gonna head this direction again into the drag chain, same thing. Keep feeding it along until you get to the Z axis. Let's head up there. Regulator mounted, hose run, and we arrive here at the Z axis. Again, simple steps to making this a reality. Here's your hose coming out of the drag chain. In this case, we have the VFD mounted to our HDZ. It's quite simple to go ahead and zip tie these together to the control cable to give it a little bit of a vertical arc. Take the hose, go entry, it's just a press fit again with that eight millimeter into the air block. You'll notice we do not have the alcohol connected here. It is connected over on our HDM. We don't need it here on the Shapeoko Pro as of yet. I'm sure there will be a time when we use it, but I'd like having it as an option versus buying the block that only contains air. This particular mounting point, I'll have this file for you. This is a 3D printed block that converts the two screws here at the bottom of the air block to the two screws here needed to enter your HDZ. That's it, four screws, and it is all set on the HDZ. If you're using a Z Plus, 
I'll have a different setup for you there. We'll also have the conversion block and you can utilize that on your Z Plus. There you have it. For under $80, quick delivery from Amazon, about 20 minutes of install, you're all set. You have air on your machine. This assumes that you have an air compressor that can handle it, but that's gonna depend on how much air you wanna push through the system while you're cutting. I do have a recommendation for you. If you're looking for a compressor, get the quiet kind. Spend the extra money. It's so worth it compared to a standard compressor if you're working in even a garage space, much less a more enclosed area. Loud noises! I hope you enjoy this. I hope you add air to your machine. It's a big upgrade here at the shop. We use it all the time, and we'll see you again from the studio.